Hey friends, it is Michelle with The Medicine Couch and I am so excited to talk to you about this conference that I just came back from two days ago. It was extraordinary, the best conference that I've been to. In fact, I had a different video planned for today, but I'm kind of preempting that because I just wanna share my excitement and my thoughts while this is fresh. Now, what conference did I go to? I went to the CME for Life Urgent Care Conference in Vegas. And I've heard about CME for Life. In fact, I've listed them as a great reference in my Panry LA videos because I have heard people talk about how extraordinary they are. This is the first time that I actually experienced one in person. And I'm not going to lie, it was the best conference I've ever been to. I was blown away. And I'm going to share with you some of the reasons why. Well, first of all, let me back up and say that I think that the single biggest thing that we can do as clinicians to help us enjoy our jobs more, to help us get more efficient, to give better care, and to have less dread when we go into work is to really know our stuff, right? I mean, if you're really confident in the medicine, then your job becomes much easier. So I think CME in general is fantastic and I highly recommend it to anyone, especially if you're struggling in your career. But specifically, I, I want to recommend this CME because I think it's so different. There's a lot of reasons, but I think I'm gonna just hit the, the top three that make this extraordinary, make it stand out head and shoulders above any other CME that I've been to. First of all is John's teaching style. Now, let me back up again. John is John Belinsky. He is the PA who owns CME for Life and is the speaker presenting the CME. He has decades of experience as a PA working in uh, emergency medicine and critical access hospitals, urgent care, critical care, spent some time as a hospitalist. So lots of really good experience. And that is also what helps set his CME apart is that he's speaking from experience. He doesn't just get up there and kind of read some slides to you. He teaches through storytelling and he's engaging and he's funny. And I'm going to warn you, there's going to be some dad jokes that are going to be flying from him, but they are pretty funny. And you can tell the audience appreciated it and uh, it really gave kind of a lighter atmosphere to the whole conference. But in addition to being funny and engaging, he has learned ways of thing. keeping your mind yeah, engaged, know, whether it's demonstrating a mnemonic thing. with hand gestures that he's teaching you or slapping his chest or his leg, making some noise when he's talking, which helps your brain, you know, focus in. I never really felt those moments of like drifting off thinking, oh God, what am I going to eat for lunch? Or what am I going to do after the conference is over? I was focused on him and what he was teaching us. And I mentioned the mnemonics. He has a mnemonic for everything. And if you really think about them and learn the mnemonics, they are incredibly helpful for when you're in practice. So that's, that's number one, his teaching style. The second thing is just the content that was presented. Oh my God. I mean, you know, anything can walk into urgent care. So it's really hard to teach a course on everything, but he did a fabulous job. The course was four days, 7 AM to 1 PM, plenty of time the rest of the day to go explore, but he really presents the material in such an organized and logical way that you cover so much. And like I said, he's not just covering it, he's giving you stories, he's helping you relate to the material so that you understand it better and helps you remember it better. That's the biggest thing. I hate to walk away from CME that I've paid a lot of money for thinking, well, yeah, that was great, but I don't know if I'll really remember anything. That's not going to be the case at CME for Life courses. You walk away really having practice changing knowledge. And 
The other aspect, number three, I would say, is the medical legal stuff that he talks about. This is stuff I don't think is taught enough. And John has not only his personal experience, but he also has done work with malpractice defense attorneys. He works as a consultant. He gets these cases that have come up for you know possible litigation, and he looks through them to see if they are defendable. Did the PA do the standard of care that was expected, which is one thing. But the second thing is, did they document it in a way that's defendable? And that's what I think sets this course apart from any others that I've been to by far, is that he helps you realize what those can't miss things are and what physical exam you have to do and the documentation that you have to put in your chart in order to be defendable. And I was surprised that it doesn't seem terribly time consuming. Yeah, you may add a little extra physical exam, like one or two little things that you can do pretty quickly. And then in the summary, it's like one sentence. One sentence can defend you, can make a case go away, or convince the attorney to fight for you instead of settling. That was pretty eye opening to me. And, you know, like I used to list differential diagnoses includes, and he talks about why that's not right, that's not defendable, but just tweaking it a little bit and putting in a sentence that can turn that case on a dime. That right there is worth the price of admission to the conference. How much confidence would that give you? And how much better would you feel? practicing, especially in something like urgent care, when you know you understand what you can't miss, you understand the things you have to look for on physical exam and in the history and what you have to document. As you can tell, I highly, highly recommend this CME course. And in full disclosure, I do have an affiliate relationship with CME for Life, but I want you to know that I'm not the only one recommending these courses. I interviewed people while I was there and ask them what they thought about it. So this is my sixth conference with John. Uh I keep coming back because he's an interesting, very charismatic individual. He talks about documentation and medical malpractice. Every single time I've come to one of his conferences, I've taken something away from that. Some conferences you go and it's just, they're they're talking at you, they're reading at you, but he's he's very animated. So it it helps you remember things. It really is going to benefit anybody, but especially those people who struggle with the foundations and applying that to more advanced practice. And he uses alternative learning methods like mnemonics and slapping on his body and, you know, like physical movement. And the more we can process this information in different ways, I think the more likely we are to remember it or learn it. Yeah. I just told my husband, best conference I've ever been to. It's dynamic. It's different. I want to get up and go to class. I would say absolutely go to this conference. See? I'm not the only one raving about this course. I mean, when you have somebody that has taken six of his courses, it's got to be good. There was even an MD in the audience, and I talked to him. He was so impressed by the material that was being offered that he went ahead and signed up for some more of CME for Life courses while he was there. If you're interested in checking out their website and seeing what all the different courses are, and where they offer them, because they're not all in Vegas. He has lots of different places that you can go to around the country and even in Puerto Rico. I'll have the link to his website down below. You can click in and see what they have to offer. I also am so happy to be able to offer you a discount code to save you some money off of the registration. That code will be down right below the link. Now, if you're intrigued, but you're not quite sure if John's teaching style is for you or if you would resonate with him the way that I do, then watch this video here. It was an interview I did with him earlier in the year talking about why he got into teaching and why it's a passion of his. That's it for now. Take care, stay sane, and I'll see you next time on The Medicine Couch. Bye.